Uh, it's Chris here today from Huckwell Equipment. Uh, today we're on location at Maple Hodge Farms. Uh, we're going to be talking about this brand new M7 uh, 172 behind me. We're going to have a conversation or a discussion about what this uh, unit is now doing here, and what they're going to be using it for for the rest of uh, for the next uh, five, six thousand hours on it. This will be the primary use tractor though. With this tractor, uh, we, uh, we brought it out here about a month ago. They, they were able to put about 75 hours on it in between. They wanted to, or we wanted to make sure that it uh, hooked up uh, with some of their implements and would function properly without anything uh, amiss. Well, because uh, well, with, with the day and age we're in, if something goes wrong, we wanted to make sure that they still had a tractor to use uh, with that Agco. So, and that's what they are replacing this tractor with uh, is that Echo, I think it's an RS or RT140, it's being replaced by this M7. So they're similar in horsepower, but the, uh, the Echo is a bigger stance of a tractor, so they're uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more functionality with this even around the farmyard. So primary uses for this tractor here, as you'll see behind me, is going to be chopping corn. Uh, they've already put a few hours on, they're going to be going out in the field this afternoon with it. Um, after that, we're going to use a lot of loader work. Uh, they do have a bale grabber from us as well. I just talked to Kylie, they're going to be putting, uh, hooking up a limpkin to it uh, and taking that out uh, instead of this out uh, probably once again in the middle of October towards November. Uh, do a little bit of tillage and field work with that. Uh, one of the main, main uses of this tractor here on this farm is they do have an all-in-one baler. You know, so whenever we get into June, July, it's hooked up to that and it's exclusively used for that. They do a few thousand bales here a year and that's what this unit is primarily going to be used for in the summer. You know, we had to put the optional uh, Power Beyond kit on this uh, to function properly with that uh, all-in-one baler. So we weren't able to uh, to get out in the field and use it this year, as uh, with delivery times and everything, kind of missed the season. Uh, but we were able to hook it up, make sure it worked uh, great with it, and uh, so that we're all set for next spring, uh, early summer, to, to get this out in the field and, and uh, be ready to go. So. So yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this loader and what uh, that bale grabber looks like. Um, so as you see behind me and all around me here, there's lots of wrapped bales. Um, again, whenever you're doing, dealing with a dairy operation, uh, you know, those cows really, really care about what's in front of them for, for consuming. So you want to make sure the bales condition, the, those, the condition of the bales are grade A, and that's where this uh, bale grabber, flexi grab from Aloe comes in handy. So um, it was purchased as a bundle with the tractor. Um, that's why there's a uh, third function on it uh, to open and close this and, and grab those bales and that's uh, one of its primary uses here on this farm is going to be uh, it's going to be feeding the cattle so uh, this is the the lemkin that they're going to be pulling out in the field it's a, a Reuben 9 a piece of a tillage equipment like this requires about 130 uh, horsepower so we got a little bit extra on that M7 so it's going to do a fantastic job whenever they do get it out in the field to use you know it's going to be a nice quick easy one pass and look beautiful coming out the back so I'm sure they look forward to using it on the back of their M7. Uh, so that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and stayed with us to kind of get an idea what these tractors are, are used for out there in the field and around a, a functioning uh, dairy farm. Um, again, this is a functioning dairy farm. It is, uh, it is work time. They are asking us to kind of hurry up so they can get back to work and as us as well. So um, again, we'd like to thank Kyle and Paul for their purchase. Uh, we really hope that uh, uh, one of the reasons they purchased this tractor is because of our, on our reputation of being a, a good dealer as well as the motor product uh, being grade A. So we're really hoping to return that favor and look after them not only short term but long term uh, that they uh, enjoy this purchase as much as we have uh, enjoyed getting it ready for them. And, uh, and yeah, so if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.